Hey guys, it's Julia and for today's video I'm going to be doing my February book haul and I did do one of these the first week of February almost like the first 10 days of February I did a book haul because I had acquired so many books that I wanted to do a separate one but I've managed to gather about six more so I want to do another video to show you guys what I've recently purchased and show you guys all the new stuff and everything so yeah quick fun fact I actually just filmed this whole thing and then I realized that it, my camera was weird and it focused on my shelf the whole entire time so it was kind of blurry so let's just jump right into the book haul. The first book I have to show you guys is Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens and this is another classic that I'm collecting and not collecting but I'm trying to get a hold of the Penguin English Library editions for a lot of classics and I'm trying to get more into classics and I've been getting into them a little bit more recently and I've had more interest to read them than I had before so I'm looking forward to picking this one up. I've I read A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens before and I own Great Expectations and I kind of just want to get into more of Dickens work and I really enjoyed his writing style when I did read A Christmas Carol so yeah I'm looking forward to this guy and such a beautiful spine is such a beautiful cover so I'm looking forward to it. Next up I have another classic and that is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I'm actually currently reading this guy so I'm hopefully gonna finish this by the end of February. I should but I don't know what's gonna happen but this is if you haven't heard of Alice in Wonderland I'd be kind of shocked not that that's a horrible thing but like it's Alice in Wonderland and this is just the original classic story so I'm currently reading it and I'll let you guys know what I think in the wrap up video if I manage to finish it. If not, there's always March. So yeah. And next up I have here is If You Dare by A.R. Tour. This is the third installment in the Girl in 6E trilogy series. I'm not really sure if it's going to be a trilogy, if this is the last book, or if it is going to be extended to like a quartet or like a series. But this is the third installment in the series, the first book being The Girl in 6E and the second book being Do Not Disturb. And these are basically adult thrillers that are kind of a cross between Dexter and Fifty Shades of Grey. So if that intrigues you, I'd pick them up. They're very quick to read and I wouldn't say like they're fun reads, but they're they're quick and enjoyable in a way. And I really like the characters, so I'm excited to pick up the third installment. And the book just keeps, it's such an interesting concept because the girl does not go out of her apartment and because she doesn't want to kill anybody. Does that not intrigue you? Next up I have here is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I'm reading this book for school and basically I don't know how exactly how to describe what this book is about. Basically it takes place in about the 1930s I believe and it takes place in Maycomb, Alabama which Maycomb is a fictional town that was based off of Harper Lee's actual town that she lived in in Alabama and Harper Lee just passed away recently so I am like I do want to read her work and I do want to see and so far what I've read is pretty decent so far and I am studying it for school and doing all this stuff with it so I like I have to read it so yeah but I'm interested to see it I have wanted to read this book before and I knew I'd have to read it for school so I'll let you guys know what I think when I'm finished. So next up I have here is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodden. I believe that's how you say the author's name but if that's not how you pronounce her name I apologize <laughs> to her but essentially this book is a historical fiction YA novel and I know it deals with this girl who's like training to like kill Hitler or something. It says on the front, win the race, kill Hitler or die trying and then on the back it says once upon a different time there was a girl who lived in a kingdom of death. This intrigues me so much. I've wanted to pick this up since it was released which was not that long ago sometime. September last year maybe? I'm not exactly positive but it has gotten a lot of praise for it. I haven't seen any negative reviews. Obviously they're out there. If I search for them I'll probably find one but I haven't people I follow and stuff having but have been giving it very good reviews so I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about and I haven't read any historical fiction that stands out to me I probably have read them before like I've probably read a historical fiction book before but nothing sticks out to me right now so I'm really looking forward to this guy if you've read this let me know your thoughts down below I'd love to hear what you thought of it it sounds so interesting and intriguing and I'm glad I got like a beautiful hardcover so yeah last and final book that I picked up was Hidden Bodies by Carolyn Kepnes. This is the sequel to you. This is the second installment. I will have my review linked up for you on the screen if you are interested in checking that out. But basically the first book in the series is about a guy named Joe who like works in a bookstore 
and he stumbles upon this girl and he becomes very obsessed and he starts to stalk her and it was one of my favorite books from last year so interesting so thrilling and so kind of creepy and i'm really excited to pick this up this is one of my most anticipated reads for this year but I'm kind of nervous because I'm worried I'm not going to enjoy it as much as you and I have heard some negative reviews but recently I've been seeing some more positive ones sprinkled in there. But I'm definitely going to read this and see what I think. So yeah. These are the books that I picked up in the rest of February. Let me know your thoughts on any of the books I talked about down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and as per usual I will see you next time. Bye!